I'm a philosophical coonhound, and my mommy loves me, and this is my first podcast on the iShows of the day. From politics to science to music to whatever, think broad here. My voice is sort of boyish. I've spent my life in Plano, Texas with my Gen X mom, whose love dog I most definitely am. Moby looks down toward his chest and mutters to himself, like Brick on the show The Middle, the whispered self-reassurances. One of Moby's is to reassure himself that although Bill and Oscar were also love dogs, they were just practice for the Grand Moba level love dog. Sorry. I hear all the words, Olivia. All of them. All of them. Mommy's love dog, that's Moby the real love dog. Mommy's booger schnoopels, mooples, mobilicious Moby. That last audio was not intended to be the voice of Moby, but it's just so delightfully not what Mommy had in mind that we're going with it. It turns out to be kind of fitting, like an arranged marriage, like an arranged marriage with a fire hydrant. Different, but you grow to love it. Let's first discuss my choice of font, you know, for my branding. My whole point here is to get my mom to test out this whole internet marketing stuff. Ha ha ha. Mom, I knew that saying it that way would get you. What way? Ah, Moby is nothing if not mysterious. So here Moby was, picking through the fonts in this fancy paid Canva account. Need to strike just the right note. Zuma rough bold. A-R-E-Y-O-U. Fin kitten. Me. Zumi. Rough. Moby. I'm here. I'm the handsomest, most handsomest. And I've got some things. Moby is so excited. Now it's time for Moby's fun with fonts. You saw Moby picked Zumi rough bold for his letterhead Arunis? Cute, no? And six hands bold for other stuff. <laughs> well, he added in some arrows to show you what's the what what. Especially since mommy's been having to draw a lood of pictures for people at work these days. Curandero, ah, ah, curandero, ah. 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 There are arrows pointing from the words Zuma rough bold to the actual typeface that is in that font. Because the words Zoomy Right Bold are not in that font, but are instead in the font named Six Hands Marker, Moby thought it would be a good idea to have the extra label with an arrow. And it looks like his tail is wagging and he's very excited. In this image, we see a playful take on a fun with fonts concept featuring a coonhound dog, presumably Moby. The humor stems from a few different elements. Font confusion. The image highlights a font mix-up with arrows pointing from the text Zoom rough bold to a font that is actually not that font, but instead six hands marker. This sort of playful mistake is reminiscent of a dog misunderstanding instructions, but being earnestly proud of his valiant efforts. Visual pun. The arrows look like they could be wagging dog tails, adding a layer of visual pun to the tail of two fonts. Moby's enthusiasm. Moby's pose with his tail held high conveys his sense of excitement and eagerness. This mirrors the eagerness of presenting information that's not quite accurate, much like a dog presenting a toy with unbridled enthusiasm, even if it's not the toy you asked for. Deadpan humor. The juxtaposition of the serious label, fun with fonts, with Moby's comical pose and the font errors, creates a contrast that's a staple in deadpan humor. Canine charm. Dogs are often loved for their happy mistakes, and this image captures that charm by connecting it with a human error, a font mislabeling. It's the idea that Moby, while trying to be helpful in distinguishing fonts, has adorably bungled it up. The image could be seen as funny because it combines the charm of a dog's earnest mistakes with a human error in a context where accuracy is expected, like a typographic presentation, all while maintaining a straight face, so to speak. It's a light-hearted poke at the seriousness with which we often approach things like branding and typography. <laughs> 